my Mr. Bill Poker peeps, as I always do every year. Look at this gang here. These are the guys from my Wednesday Poker League who have won an entry into the World Series of Poker. Actually, we're missing one, Stone, which we're going to get him a little bit. So the six of us have won entries into the WSOP. So this is a really fantastic group. We're going to real quickly go through uh, maybe our WSOP resume or maybe some other tournaments we won if we haven't played the WSOP. So let's start with Dane. Um, three years running now. Uh, I've cashed once out of two. This will make our third time. Hopefully it will be two out of three. Uh, and with the bracelet. Cool. Going well. Nice. <laughs> All right, Alex. All right, so I played the Monster Sack back in 2017 and uh, made it to about hour number six, seven. <coughs> Went all in on pocket tens versus Jack King and he uh, busted that. He busted I busted <laughs> that. Yes, exactly. So that's my experience so far. So Coming one back, time? One time, yeah. And I'm going to play the Monster Stack this go around again, and hopefully I'll have uh, better results on this in hand. So. All right, leader Carl. Well, thank He's, you, Bill. Carl's been in the World Series many, many times. So this will be my uh, fifth year uh, attending the World Series of Poker in Las Vegas and uh, at the Rio. Uh, eight events, five caches, uh, nothing even close to the final table. So this year, I'm hoping to be at least in the top uh, nine or ten and bring home some money for the group. Yeah, and so last year, was well, last year, two years ago, Carl and I played in the seniors. We both went pretty deep. Um, I got it 44th and you got somebody 60th. So, yeah. Yeah. so we had done well together. It was fun to have another lead guy <laughs> who was doing well also. All right, the rookie. <laughs> Rob the rookie. He's not really a rookie, he's just a rookie to the World Series. So I want you to tell him about your also your big cash that you had in WPT. All right. So I've uh, been to Vegas many times, but this will be my first World Series of Poker experience. Uh, it's been on my bucket list for about 16 years, so I'm very excited to take care of that. Uh, my biggest win was last fall. I won the WPT Seniors. You won the WPT uh, about Seniors. About $13,000. Yeah. Oh, nice. That was at Choctaw Durant, correct? Correct. Nice. Rob's really, really good. All of us are really, really good. But yeah. Rob's my buddy. He's my study partner, so I have to say nice things about him. <laughs> okay, myself, uh, you guys have probably heard this like 10,000 times. So I've been in 10 World Series of Poker events. I've cashed in four. I have finished my highest finish with a ninth in a $3,000 six max, which uh, was, I look back at the players I played against, I think, holy cow, I'm glad I didn't know who they were at the time. <laughs> uh, uh, two years ago, I finished 44th out of 6,000 in the seniors, and last year I got a 418th out of 6,000 in the seniors, so I've done pretty well. I have said this year that I'm gonna get a six digit cash, so that is my deal. Um, ho hopefully it'll, it'll work out. We're all pulling for you. We yeah. are. <laughs> we are actually. So this is, uh, we've done this, um, this contest in our Wednesday Poker League for many, many years. Uh, some of these guys, I think Dane and Carl have been in every the year. one every, the year. every single year. Carl's going to explain a little bit about why Rob said we're rooting for you. <laughs> so uh, the league, of course, has very competitive play every week, every Wednesday night. Anywhere from 23 to 36 players. Uh, but for six months, we have a competition that is point generated on how you finish. And the top five players get a seat to the World Series of Poker. Now for that seat and that entry, any money you win, 40% comes back to the people that participated. So even the people that didn't make the top six have a chance to get some payback. Right, I think this year we had uh, 25 entries or something like that. So there's six of us representing the group. The other 19 will get a piece of uh, whatever we win. So that's pretty cool. I like that a lot. Yeah. All right, Stone, you crushed our league. What place did you come in in our... W S O P tournament. First, obviously. Number one, baby. So I really wish Stone were here. Stone uh, came in first place in our league this year. So there was pretty much two levels in the tournament this year. Rob Stone and I wrapped up our spots very, very early. Um, and then it was competition between me and Robin Stone because the first two spots get 1,500, third spot gets 1,000. Rob does not want to talk about this. It's a bad beat. <laughs> On the very last week, I went from third place to second place, so I got a $1,500 entry. Stone got a $1,500 entry. Rob got 1,000. You won the tiebreaker. I did. <laughs> now, there was a second tier, and all three of these guys, well, actually two of these guys got the second tier, and Alex got a special one, so we'll talk about it. So, um, Dane and Carl, Actually, Carl 
started off the year horrible. You had yeah. zero points. They blanked the first two months. <laughs> and, then made, and, then made a, and then made a furious comeback. Yeah, and I had to beat some hard players, including your son, yes. Billy Jr. And it, it was to the very last event, the very last day right. to, to sew that. And my son ended up going to college. He was winning this whole thing for the first three months, and then he went off to college and he couldn't play once a month, and he kind of died. And then on the very, very last week, Mr. Dane Dart, Overtook my son for the fifth spot. Darn. <laughs> it's so funny because I was rooting for Billy Badly, even though Dane's one of yeah. my best friends. <laughs> yeah, it was, it, it was tough. I mean, that whole table. We had not only that, but we had uh, the two guys behind me who were also at the table. Yeah. And it came down to whoever was going to finish the best, then that tournament got to go. Yeah. So two years ago, Alex absolutely dominated our league and got the top spot. Last year, he didn't do it. So tell them how you got in this year, Alex. But this uh, last year, I won the very last seat. So with the remaining persons that haven't won, the, the, the best placing person would win that last seat. So I wound up uh, getting in this year because I by the hair of my chin chin chin. <laughs> it was tight. It's it a was survivor tight. tournament and Alex survived. Vinny is the guy who runs this uh, contest for us. He's done it for many, many years. So thank you, Vinny. Thanks, Vinny. Thanks, Thanks Vinny. Great job. Appreciate it. <laughs> All right, so real quickly, uh, why don't you guys talk about your expectations for this World Series poker? I'm going to try to at least make it through day one, hopefully make it through day two and three, and uh, make it to the final day, and at the final table, get first place. All right, so my first event is a four-day event, if you go to the final table. Uh, I expect to bag three times. Good for you. It's awesome. All right, how about me? I said this year, all along, a six-digit cash in either the World Series poker or one of the one of the tournaments that's at one of the other casinos, but a six-digit cash is what my goal is. My goal is uh, this will be the first time I've played in a tag team. Um, I do not want to let my partner down, so I'm going to put a little extra stress on me, which usually produces well and get good results on that. Myself, uh, my expectations are to make it to day two. Uh, day one is on a Friday. And then day two would be on that Sunday because there's two different groups coming in. So that's my initial expectation is to get to the second day and uh, be ready to go from there. So. Cool. My expectation is to have the most spectacular poker experience of my life. And part of that would be to make a deep run and to win some money for my investors because my, my yeah. girls at the office have 25% of me. So uh, You know what spectacular people? Winning. Winning is spectacular, Winning is isn't it? <laughs> yeah. That would be fantastic. <laughs> I'm playing with the tag team with my son, and I am so terribly, incredibly excited about that because Billy is a heck of a player, and I would love to have the Burford boys go deep and do some poker news, and my vlog might go shh. That would be fantastic. <laughs> Try to lay off adult beverages, adult beverages, adult beverages. My tip, I guess, would be just to be patient, pick your spots. Uh, can't win a tournament the first day, and uh, so take a take a long long ball approach to it. You don't eat a big meal; it changes your sugar. Cool. Just come in nice and relaxed, and uh... adult beverages. So I think that poker is a terribly taxing mental game. So I want to go in mentally sharp mentally prepared I have been as you guys heard about in one of my other vlogs I've been listening to a lot of motivational videos and I want to be in my own head invincible so for me it's all about the mental game being ready know that I can beat the players I'm playing so that's my tip adult beverages all right guys final thoughts let's do it win let's do it mr let's bill win. thank you for your vlogs yes. everybody enjoys them oh, I appreciate we'll that. see everybody else make sure we get together and have a meal or at least talk to each other. oh yeah absolutely that's yeah. one of the funnest things is just seeing people at the <laughs> biggest <laughs> festival for broker players in the world and we know other guys and we have a good time it's always All just great seeing yep. friendly faces there is is a fantastic <laughs> <thing>. yeah <laughs> and actually some of these guys might even be wearing Mr. Bill shirts, so if you see them, uh, <laughs> yeah, we'll rob us pay. <laughs> if you see them, you see an extension of Mr. Bill, so make sure that you get in good with these guys too, because they are awesome guys. All right. Good luck, Blair. Right. Good, good luck, guys. Let's do it, guys. Let's run good. Play better.